Hi and welcome to another Basically Google video. Today I'm going to be going briefly over the different ways that students can submit their work. Right now I'm looking at my Google homepage. I'm going to click my apps grid and go to Google Classroom. This is my teacher account. In my ELA classroom, I have created a new assignment right here that says create or edit a document for an assignment. And I have attached a Google document but I've given students the option to either edit the one that I've provided or to create a new document. And the three things I want to make sure that they have included would be a title, insert one image, and add two headings based on the instruction that they would have received ahead of time. So let's look at the student account and I'm on the classwork page for my student, clicking on the assignment and clicking on view assignment. So right here, I can see over on the right hand side, anything that's designated as my work. And I can see the information on the left hand side with the instructions. I have the option to either click on this document that's been attached for me, which as you can see in the top left hand corner has my name now and the name of the assignment already in the title. So I can leave that title as it is, or I can change my title and type up my own information based on the instructions. Now, remember that this student has already had the lessons necessary to learn how to create a title, put in headings and insert images. So now this document is finished. They've edited the one that I created for them. And now I can just close this. And if I'm completely finished, I would just click turn in and the system would ask me if I want to turn in that document, but I'm going to cancel it to show you how to do the other ways that you can turn things in. So the other way on this page that students can submit something is that they can click add or create. So if I have already created something in my Google Drive as a student and I want to attach it, I will just click on Google Drive. It will take me to my drive where I will see any of the work that I've created. I'm going to click on that one about flying a kite and add it. I get a message that it's already attached, so it won't let me add it. But if the original one wasn't there, I would be able to add it. The other way I can submit an item would be if I click that same button and this time under create new I click doc it will open and attach a new document to my assignment make sure up here that I have my title and once the information is in this document I can just close it and it's been attached so if the teacher gave me the option to either edit the one that was created for the class or create my own I'm only going to turn in one of those two but those are the three ways that you can have students submit your work. They can edit a document that you gave them. Maybe you have a template. They can create their own from scratch, or maybe it's something they had already created in their Google Drive, and they're just going to add it to this assignment. So now I'm going to click turn in and because I did it two different ways both of those are there and now I can see that I'm finished and as always once you turn something in until the teacher grades it you have the option as a student to unsubmit that item that's like saying oh I forgot to put my name on it and then you take the paper back from the teacher then you finish doing the other work that you want to do to it and then you will turn it in again once the teacher has graded something then the button here will say resubmit in which case that's going to be up to your teachers whether or not any work is ever allowed to be resubmitted after it's received a grade. So that's it in a nutshell that would apply to doc sheets or slides. Forms is a little different, so please see the video on forms, but those are the three different ways that a student can turn in work for a teacher's assignment in Google Classroom. Thanks very much and take care.